This video will cover beginner questions regarding the topic of double angle identities. Double angle identities are special cases of the sum identities where two angles are equal. Let's see how these formulas work. This is the sum formula for sine state. If we replace b with a in this formula, sine a plus a equals sine a cosine a plus cosine a sine a. Then sine 2a equals sine a cosine a sine a cosine a to sine a cosine a. This is the double angle formula for sine. So 2 sine a cosine a equals sine 2a. Remember that the angles are doubled. Now, let's use this formula to simplify the following expressions. Think of 3x as a in this expression, then times 2 on each side, 2 sine a cosine a equals sine 2a, 2 sine a cosine a equals sine 2a, which is 6x. Question 2, we can rewrite it as 4 times 2 sine 5x cosine 5x. Just to think about this part, 2 sine a cosine a. Then a part is 5x, so 2a part is 10x. Then 4 times 2 sine a cosine a is sine 2a, which is 10x. Question 3. Use this formula. We need 2 sine 4x cosine 4x. Then we write 1 over 2 as 1 over 4 times 2. Then just to think about this one, 1 over 4, 2 sine a cosine a is a sine 2a, which is 8x. Question 4, use this formula. So 6 is divided by 3 times 2, then sine x over 2 cosine x over 2. Then just to think about this part, 2 sine a cosine a, then a part is x over 2, 2a two is times 2 on each side, x. Then 3 times 2 sine a cosine a is sine 2a, which is x. Cosine can be done in the same way. Cosine a plus a equals cosine a cosine a minus sine a sine a. Then cosine 2a equals cosine squared a minus sine squared a. So Cosine squared a minus sine squared a equals cosine 2a. Remember that the angle is doubled here as well. Let's take an example, question 5. Think of 2x as a in this expression, cosine squared a minus sine squared a. a part is 2x, then 2a is 4x. So cosine squared a minus sine squared a is cosine 2a. Cosine squared a minus sine squared a is cosine 2a, which is 4x. Question 6. We can factor. Take out 3. Then cosine squared 
x over 2 minus sine squared x over 2. Just think about this part as cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Then a part is x over 2 times 2 on each side, 2a equals x. Then 3 times cosine squared a minus sine squared a is cosine 2a. Then 2a which is x. We know cosine 2a is cosine squared a minus sine squared a. Use the Pythagorean identity. Sine squared a plus cosine squared a equals 1. Then sine squared a equals, move this to the right, then 1 minus cosine squared a. Then cosine 2a equals cosine squared a minus sine squared a, which is 1 minus cosine squared a, then cosine squared a minus 1 plus cosine squared a equals 2 cosine squared a minus 1. That means 2 cosine squared a minus 1 equals cosine 2a. Question 7, 2 cosine squared a minus 1. In here, a part is 5x, 2a part is 10x. So 2 cosine squared a minus 1 is cosine 2a. 2 cosine squared a minus 1 is cosine 2a, which is 10x. Question 8. We can factor, take out 8, 2 cosine squared 8x minus 1. The inside of the bracket is 2 cosine squared a minus 1. a part is 8x. Then 2a part is 16x. a times 2 cosine squared a minus 1 is cosine 2a, which is 16x. From here, use the formula sine squared a plus cosine squared a equals 1. Then cosine squared a equals 1 minus sine squared a. So cosine squared a is 1 minus sine squared a minus sine squared a. Then 1 minus 2 sine squared a. We can read it as 1 minus 2 sine squared a equals cosine 2a. Question 9. 1 minus 2 sine squared a. In here, a part is 4x. 2a part is 8x. Then 1 minus 2 sine squared a is cosine 2a. Then cosine 2a, which is 8x. This one we can rewrite as take out 4. Then 1 minus 2 sine squared x over 3. Inside of the bracket, is 1 minus 2 sine squared a, then a part is x over 3 times 2 on each side, 2a equals 2x over 3, then 4 times 1 minus 2 sine squared a is cosine 2a, 2a is 2x over 3. Now let's look at tangent. Again, we replace b with a in the formula. Tangent a plus a equals tangent a plus tangent a over 1 minus tangent a times tangent a. Then 
tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared a. So 2 times tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared a equals tangent 2a. Question 11. 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared a. Here a part is 6x, 2a equals 12x. 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared a equals tangent 2a, which is 12x. This is the last one. Use the formula. We need a 2 here. So 10 is divided by 5 times 2. Then tangent 4x over 1 minus tangent squared 4x. Then just to think about this part. Then 5 times 2 tangent a over 1 minus tangent squared a, then tangent 2a, which is 8x. I hope this video has been helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more.